okay so good morning students now the next topic is loss due to friction so this is also one of the losses in free stress so here the loss due to friction which is formed between cables and tendons cables and tendons when the free stressing force is acted so from the jacking end from the jacking end the free stressing force which is developed the free stressing force which is developed to tendons which the cable profile will be in the form of parabolic in the form of parabolic and the force which acted to the tangent in direction with made up of angle alpha and the force which is acted in the tangential direction with the angle alpha which is known as loss due to friction loss due to friction mainly the friction loss is developed between free stressing force and cables and tendons so here whether it is a type of beam with cables or tendons so while the free stressing force which is uh, which we want to find is p px which is loss due to friction so this is the concrete beam with jacking and the formula is derived as loss of stress due to friction is p x is equal to p not e power e power minus mu mu alpha plus kx so here p not we should find the value of p not is free stressing force e so here the difference for log tan and normal e value is if you press the value for log e in calci the value of e is 27183 you should remember the value of 27183 or in calci you press the log e value it will come it will show as 2.7183 so here 2.7183 so p not which is pressure zip force into 2.7183 power minus of mu value coefficient of friction which is 0.3 for steel moving load and 0.25 for lead so the values for mu we can take 0.3 or 0.25 alpha is the thing but angle which is given or which we want to find by trigonometric formulas like this if this is the angle and this is the direction so theta opposite by adjacent side sin theta cos theta tan theta and k value k is friction coefficient for values is 15 into 10 power minus 4 and 2 15 into 10 power minus 4 per meter so frictional coefficient we take it take as 15 into 10 power minus 4 to 15 into 10 power minus 4 and uh, x is the distance of center to center l by 2 x is the distance of center to center l by 2 so please remember the formula for loss due to friction is px is equal to p not e mu alpha plus k into x so this is the formula for loss due to friction okay so while doing the problem we can know the main values for mu and k how we can calculate okay mu alpha and calculate so mainly while calculate the value of alpha we can have some tough situations so while calculating alpha we should take the trigonometrical signs which are very very important in case if the angle also given if the alpha value of given if k value is given so we can directly substitute the problem and we can solve the loss due to friction so for example we will say one problem okay so this is the problem on loss due to friction so here a post post tension concrete beam with 450 mm deep and 200 mm width with an area of 800 mm square with zero eccentricity at ends so at ends e is equal to zero and at center e is equal to 150 mm and at center e is equal to 150 mm span 10 meters and the initial stress so initial stress is px so initial stress at the jacking end is p not 
so here at the jacking and this p not on the oral insertion is px so insertion at one end is 840 later my loss due to friction assume mu and k so here mu it is given mu it is given k it is given okay so first one for half span for half span if you take for half span so this is this will be the shape of semicircular arc like this so like this so like this value so here l by 2 5 meters l by 2 5 meters and the, the distance is 150 SNC t r alpha so r and alpha so here so it is uh, 5 meters 150 r so if you take a triangle right angle triangle we know the formula for side square plus side square is equal to hypotenuse square so this is the hypotenuse r square plus one side 5 meters and the remaining side must be r minus 150 r minus 150 is the remaining side so r minus 0.15 which i converted to meters like this so r we will get as 84 meters r we will get as 84 meters okay so here with the radius of circular cable we know so and the alpha so alpha so r the r value we know hypotenuse and the opposite side we know the value so alpha opposite side hypotenuse side you know the values of angle opposite and hypotenuse so angle opposite and hypotenuse means sin alpha so sin alpha is equal to opposite side 5 meters hypotenuse 84 so by solving we will get the value of alpha 0 0.6 0 0.06 radian so for one side 0 0.06 means for other side also same so cumulative angle 0 0.06 plus 0 0.06 0 0.12 radians okay so here the main concept of a loss due to friction so loss so we don't know overall stress we don't know overall stress loss so so first one write the formula for loss due to friction px is equal to p naught e power minus mu alpha plus kx so here p naught is nothing but initial stress at jacking unit so we, we want to find p naught first so px already given for 1 and 840 so 840 is equal to p naught into e power so e already i have told 2.781 minus mu 0.6 into alpha 0.6 plus k 0.009 into 5 5 is nothing but x so 5 is nothing but x is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5 meter so 5 so by solving we get the value of p naught 940 newton per mm square so overall loss due to stress overall stress is 940 but we want only percentage loss due to friction so at the jacking end and at one end so at the sum end 840 and at jacking end 940 so 940 minus 840 we will get the percentage of loss as 100 newton per mm square at loss of stress due to friction but we want percentage of loss so percentage of loss means what is the loss of stress 100 by 940 into 100 100 by 940 overall stress 940 into 100 so by calculating we will get 10.6 percent 10.6 percent so this is the main problem for loss due to friction so here don't get be confused this is the three stress force at one end and p naught is initial stress overall initial stress overall initial stress so overall initial stress we have to calculate like this p naught so this is the loss loss of stress so initial stress and at one end initial stress at jacking end jacking end and initial stress at one end so totally subtraction of both stresses we will get loss of stress due to friction so loss of due to friction the percentage means 100 plus 100 by total loss into percentage 100 so we will get 10.6 this is the loss due to friction problem and interaction so we have discussed all the losses all the losses loss due to electric shortening loss due to friction creep and loss due to friction okay so how they will ask the question so in your examination pattern they will ask for 14 marks 
calculate the pre or post tension losses for so problem for so and so problem means you should calculate all the losses in single problem so if they ask only for pre tension you can calculate only pre tension losses if they ask for post tension losses you can calculate only post tension losses so if they are not asked any version if they are not asked for any pre or post so you should calculate both the losses by having tabular column post tension and pre tension so now we will discuss the 14 marks problem as i will say one problem with neat example so please follow the video okay so please follow the video maximum you can have 14 marks in your hands okay so this is really very 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 important problem very 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 important problem so please listen carefully okay